Hey guys, Matt Bell with the Electric Violin Shop. This is a series called From Classical to Radical. This is a really different look from shooting in the shop in front of that big wall of violins. This is actually my home studio and we're doing it here because it's a different look because it's a whole separate series. The point of this series is going to be to help the players that are primarily classically trained players who are trying to start moving into the world of electric music, uh, plugging in a violin, playing with some effects, playing in a rock band, country band, a praise and worship band. There's just this whole world of information that's sort of common knowledge for guitar players, drummers, bass players, but may be really foreign to you as a classical player. This video series is going to attempt to very quickly teach you some of the things that took me a lot of years to figure out. A bit about my background, uh, I started playing when I was three years old was classically trained with the Suzuki method and in my early 20s was given an opportunity to play with a rock band but I didn't really know how to do that. I didn't know how to plug in. I didn't know uh, what a pickup was or any of that. So people were really patient with me and over the course of about 20 years and about 50,000 really dumb questions um, I learned how to, how to make a living in this business. And I'm going to try to pass a lot of that knowledge on to you guys here. Uh, some of those things will be uh, the basics of equipment. We're going to talk about what is a quarter inch cable, difference between stereo and mono, what's an XLR cable, what's a preamp, what's a DI, what's active, what's passive, all those sorts of equipment issues uh, so we can get you plugged into the PA and get you going. Uh, we'll talk about the different ways to plug in from uh, an acoustic violin with a pickup all the way to a solid body electric violin and sort of all the, the pieces in between, maybe help you make a good decision about what kind of instrument you need to to, uh, to do what you want to do. Uh, we'll talk about effects, the difference between reverb and delay. Uh, what are the different kinds of distortion? What does a phaser do? How do I make my violin sound like another instrument? Uh, we'll talk about improvisation. Uh, it's not one of those things that they really teach a lot in classical music anymore. Say I can play Paganini, but I have no idea what to play on a wagon wheel. We'll get into that. We'll talk about pop music theory and how it differs from classical music theory. And you already know how to play the instrument. We want to sort of help you understand what to play and when. Uh, in order to do that, we'll talk about song construction. Pop, rock, country, worship music is constructed differently than classical music is. How pop songs are put together and knowledge of that will help you understand what and when to play. For instance, I don't hear a violin part on this Bon Jovi song that my band wants to play, or I don't hear a, a violin part on this David Crowder song that my worship leader wants to play. What on earth am I going to play? We'll get into that. I will talk about etiquette. What types of things that are no-nos in classical music that are actually expected in pop music? Um, you know, what do I bring to a gig? How do I sound check? You know, what? how do I sort of... Uh, conduct myself on stage in a way that helps me um, look like the professional that I am just in a different setting. Then I want to do a sub-series of videos where I break down some individual songs and it'll mostly just sort of be in, in, a, in a manner of teaching. I've been playing in cover bands for years and I played on tons of songs that did not have violin parts on the original song. So we'll talk about what to listen for in, in, in a recording uh, sort of how to analyze maybe what part I want to play, how I want to play that part, how do I want to plug that hole, do I want to sound just like the record, do I want to sort of do something different. We'll, we'll spend a lot of time talking about that and we'll do that by breaking down some individual songs. I don't pretend to have all the answers and the, and the cool thing about pop music, modern music, rock music is that there are like a hundred right ways to do any given thing. There's about a thousand wrong ways. There is right and wrong, but there's more than one right way to do each thing. No two guitar players are going to play exactly the same, and I wouldn't expect the two violinists would either. So maybe by showing you some of the things that I do, um, you'll sort of maybe get your mind spinning on maybe this is the direction I can go. Maybe I want to do this differently than he did, or maybe I want to sort of build on what he did and sort of avoid some of the, the common pitfalls that are out there. So yeah, that's the intro to the series. Those are a lot of things that we're going to cover. We're going to have a bunch of videos and I think we're going to have a lot of fun. I think that this is going to be something that's going to be helpful for those of you who are um, Bach and Vivaldi and Mozart, Paganini, people who want to start playing modern music. You want to play pop music. You want to play worship music. You want to play country, jazz, R&B, house music, all these different styles of music and you just want to sort of know how to get started. Please subscribe to Electric Violin Shop right here. You can click there and subscribe, um, and that way you can get notified every time we put up a new video. It's not just Classical Radical. Uh, Electric Violin Shop has tons of great content, including product reviews, 
instrument demos, clinics. Uh, we talk about some of the latest and greatest technology in the business. If there's a new product that comes out, we, uh, we like to let you guys know, and that's usually done on a video, and then it'll be up on YouTube. So tons of great content, not just classical to radical. So subscribe, and then you'll always know when that stuff is going on. If you want to get a little more in-depth, um, I do Skype lessons right here um, in my office. And um, so I'm available to teach those. Like 30-minute lesson is $30, pretty cheap. And, um, and we can get really in-depth. Uh, I speak English and Spanish, so either one of those uh, we can deal with. And uh, just shoot me an email at matt7738 at gmail.com if you're interested in Skype lessons. And uh, we can try to get you on the schedule. Really looking forward to uh, seeing and hearing from you guys in the comments section. Sort of let me know uh, what parts are helpful. If there's some other things that you want to know, uh, then we'll try to make some videos and get all that stuff going. Welcome to the series, and I uh, can't wait to hear from you guys.